So usually what I do, so I don't have to deviate from my whole decor, my whole aesthetic. That was so disrespectful. What's up everybody, my name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my OG subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. Fall is approaching. I love fall, it gets me so excited. This is my favorite season ever. I don't like summer, I can do early spring. Winter is cool too, but fall is just, oh, I just love it. It gets me in such a good mood. The clothes are so much better. I live in the South, but I hate hot weather. But when it starts getting cold and I can bring out my cardigans and my hoodies, Ooh, the colors outside. Let's just get into the video because I'm rambling at this point. Okay guys, so August is coming to an end and I know we have all been pressured to kind of go out, shop, make our homes feel like fall. But before you do that, hold on, pump your brakes because some of the tips I'm sharing today may save you some money this year. So I'm not a seasonal decor person. Um, I have commitment issues when it comes to that. I just don't want to pull everything out for two or three months and then have to store it away or throw it away, which is a waste of money. And I know what you're thinking, it's not that expensive. A few pumpkins here, a blanket there, some pillows, maybe some leaves to throw on my table. It adds up quick, y'all. And a lot of us trick ourselves to thinking, oh yeah, I'll buy it this year and I can use this year after year after year. But in reality, who really does? That. I mean, let's be real. Every year there is something totally different than the previous year, a different trend that you want to jump on, the cutest new trinkets at CB2, crate and barrel that you want to get in your home. So the stuff that you bought the previous year probably will never ever see the light of day again. <laughs> Here are the tips you may want to take into account. Tip one, choose a fall scent. Now this is more for my people who have commitment issues when it comes to seasonal decor. Like myself, I haven't put up a Christmas tree in years because I don't feel like decorating and pulling out a Christmas tree for a month or two and then having to put it back. I never ever do like pumpkins and the cute little blankets and kitchen towels. No. I'm just not doing that. One, I don't have the storage to put that stuff away when the season is over. And two, I'm, I'm just lazy, y'all. I mean, I'ma call a spade a spade, I'm lazy, okay? Let's call a thing a thing, people! So usually what I do, so I don't have to deviate from my whole decor, my whole aesthetic. That was so disrespectful. <laughs> So usually what I do in my home, if I want to feel more like the season we're in, but I don't want to deviate from my decor aesthetic, I'll choose a scent for my home that makes me feel like that season. Bath & Body Works is notorious for seasonal scents. Anything from candles to room sprays and the wallflowers, which is one of my favorites. You just plug them in the wall and you don't have to think about it. They just have the most amazing variety. I still have candles from three years ago from Bath & Body Works. Um, usually when they have a sale I rack up. Here are a few of my favorites. Sweater weather is probably my top cold weather candle from Bath & Body Works. Um, I, you know, I always go for the eucalyptus mint. That's my year round, but if I wanna feel more like fall, feel more festive, I will burn this. Um, it's not overwhelming. That's one thing I do hate about fall candles and scents. A lot of them are like, sweet and some of them you just smell them and it's just like ugh what is that and what the f is that smell y'all know what i'm talking about like the whole maple syrup and i'm not if y'all like that i love it not really i don't love it if y'all like it cool <laughs> but i just hate it i can't stand the whole food scent i can only Stand up for probably like five minutes and I gotta go, I'm getting a headache. But um, scents like these, I feel like are very subtle, but they still get you in the mood. This one is actually, um, it has eucalyptus, juniper berry, and fresh sage. So it's not like a pecan waffle or like syrup or like hot chocolate that you're gonna smell when you come in the house. It still smells really nice, really fresh, but still festive for the season. My next scent that I usually go for during the fall or the winter is Marshmallow Fireside. This one is a little bit different from anything that I would ever burn, but something about it 
it just feels right. Um, it smells exactly what it sounds like, marshmallow fireside. It's a little bit sweet, but smoky. And it's just, y'all, y'all have to go in there and smell it. It's just like, if you don't have a fireplace, this will make you still feel cozy, still like there's some kind of warmth in your home. It says, uh, celebrate that autumn is officially here with a blend of toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and fire roasted vanilla. So like I said, it's sweet and smoky. I just, I just really, really love this. It smells really, really good. Um, and like I said, it's not overwhelming. It's actually very gender neutral, so it's not like overly feminine or overly masculine. And it's like right there in the middle. Really, really love this. And the thing I really, really love about candles is it doesn't matter what your home looks like, what your decor is like. If you bring a candle that brings, you know, the sense of that season, it's gonna feel right. Like, just humor me. Let's pick a restoration hardware room. Now, this room has, there's no fall decor. There's no orange, there's no burgundy, there's no, you know, pumpkins anywhere. But just imagine this candle burning in this space. This smell, smell good, huh? Instantly it's fall. And you don't even have to think about it that much. You don't have to buy any extra decor, just light a candle and you're there. Now, if you're not a candle person or if you have kids or pets and it's a safety issue for you, you can always opt to get an essential oil and put it in an oil diffuser. Amazon has so many to pick from. I was looking on there last night and I actually got kind of overwhelmed at how many options there were, but I do plan on ordering some from Amazon and putting it in my trusty Vitruvi oil diffuser. You guys know I love this thing. I actually have three in my home. Um, I rave about it, tried and true, love it, can't say enough about it um but i'm thinking i want to try i saw a sandalwood vanilla scent i think i'm gonna order that and just put it in here have it diffusing all day long and just scent up the house and make me feel like fall so for all my people out there who don't really like scented candles especially like fall scents you can opt to get colored candles that are unscented. So my favorite is a taper candle. I just love how sleek and minimal they look, but you can also get pillar candles that are, you know, fall color vibes. What? <laughs> you can get candles that are fall appropriate colors. I have these taper candle holders that I've had for a while. They're both marble. Um, this one is from CB2. This one is from Home Goods. Both of them were very inexpensive. Well, this wasn't, it was only inexpensive because it was on sale. But anyway, you can get items like this that you can use year round. It's not just for fall or winter, anything like that. You can use it year round. These actually have holes for a taper candle and this one is actually uh, the top of it. You can stick a pillar candle on top of there as well. But I just think these will be so cute with a taper candle, a color of your choice. Um, I'll probably pick like a sage or like a taupe and just stick it in there and get the vibes. You get some warmth from the candle and the colors for fall. Tip number two is to bring in those textures, y'all. And I'm talking pillows and throw blankets. Teddy pillows, boucle blankets, I mean, that's just fall for me. I just feel like cuddle up on the couch, call off of work, <laughs> get some tea, good movie. When is fall again? Cause I need this to happen soon. Teddy and Sherpa are like my number one thing in my bedroom. I keep three of these big pillows on my bed all year round, so it's not a seasonal thing for me. Um, I just love how cozy it makes my room look. And then I also have like this little ball pillow, this little Teddy ball pillow that I keep on the side of my ottoman. These pillows are actually really inexpensive if you get them from the right place. I got mine from Home Goods, but I've seen them on Target's website and they're actually pretty reasonably priced. Um, so check that out. I just love a good teddy. It just, y'all can't tell me this doesn't scream fall. Like just soft and cuddly and cozy. Blankets are actually a very, very easy way to bring in that cozy element without thinking about it. Just throw it on the couch, throw it on the bed, and you're bold. Um, I found this one from Target. I wouldn't recommend this one in particular because it does feel kind of cheap. Um, I'm gonna return this and check out the Studio McGee one because I feel like that'll be a little bit better quality. Of course, it's more expensive, but sometimes you gotta pay for what you want. And also, we all know Boucle is very trendy this year, um, and I 
feel like it is key for the colder months. I got this blanket on H&M. It was only like $22 and it's actually a pretty good size. Um, it's this yummy, like neutral brown tan tone. I actually got this for a DIY project because I really want some cozy seating in my little home office filming room. So I'm going to attempt to wrap this around a couch I already have. Y'all know I love wrapping some fabric around something I already got, upcycling furniture, but I feel like it'll turn out well. So look out for that video because I think that's going to be a fun one but like I was saying boucle is very textured very cozy and warm looking and this is actually it's warm but it's not too hot like it's thin but can still keep me warm because I live in the south like I said and it's hot here like one year I was wearing shorts during Thanksgiving like it just the weather is just crazy down here so I feel like this is a really good option because it's It'll keep you warm in the house, but it's not overly hot, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like I said, this one came from H&M. I will try to remember to link it down below in the description box, but I've seen it on Target's website as well and Bed Bath & Beyond. They had a really good one there too. So yeah, just get you one. It's very, very easy to just throw on a bed and it's fall instantly. Throw it on a couch and it's cozy in there too. So these are just a no-brainer. The great thing about fall is, yeah, you have some oranges and some yellows that are usually fall decor, but earth tones to me scream fall. You know, the browns, the greens, the burnt oranges. Like, usually we have those in our homes anyway. In this room here, I'm sure they probably weren't decorating for fall, but it fits. Like all the tones and shades of the pillows on the couch just scream, it's cold outside and I'm about to cuddle up on the couch. But it's also like normal decor, it's gorgeous. I wouldn't walk into this room and be like, oh, it's fall, that's why they have these pillows on the couch. No, I just be like, oh, this is nicely decorated. So that's what I really, really love about our tones, they're very transitional. This bedroom right here is another example. I'm sure it's not technically decorated for fall, but it just fits, very transitional just gorgeous the pillows on the bed i actually found some dupes on target's website and pottery barn had some too but this room just screams cuddly cozy just the textures and the colors the shades it's just amazing so this is fall appropriate but it's not committing to fall decor if that makes sense okay so back to the pillow talk i have this green pillow that i actually keep in my room year round it's not a seasonal thing again but i just feel like it's fall appropriate i have green as my little uh i don't want to do we still say accent color in 2021 i don't know i have green in my bedroom i just feel like it fits all seasons all year round that's not why i picked it but that's just a plus um so this pillow cover is actually from h&m home it was very inexpensive. I think it was maybe like $13. And I would recommend getting pillow covers if you want to go for more color in your home this season. Um, just because it's easy to store. I feel like if you buy a pillow because it's like, ooh, this is cute for fall, you have to store a whole pillow. Whereas if you just get the pillow cover, just zip it off, fold it up, put it on top of your closet, and bring it out next year. You know what I mean? So I would really opt for those. Like I said, H&M Home has really good options for that. You can find them on Amazon. Um, Pottery Barn has them, CB2. And you can just repurpose the pillows you have on your bed already or your couch. Just put the pillow cover on there and give a little fall vibe. Take the cover off, like I said earlier. Store it away and easy. Another way to bring in some color into your home this season, which you probably have it around the house anyway, is my personal favorite, coffee table books. So when you think fall, you think the leaves on the trees changing colors, they usually like orange, you have a little bit of green in there, some burgundy, a little bit of brown, like a burnt orange type thing going on. And I actually have some books in my home. I didn't even buy them for the fall because like I said, I never decorate for fall, but they just fit, I feel. So the first one I'm going to share is this Louis Vuitton catwalk book. 
it's this deep orange very very pretty stick this on your coffee table and you don't even have to think about it um even if you're a, a pumpkin person you can put like a few pumpkins on here i wouldn't be mad at it love it if you're looking for something more on the rust side, I actually have this book in my home already that I bought. It's, Ar it's Interior Architecture by Pierre Yovanovitch, and just the colors on it, scream fall, right? Really, really good. Next up is Kelly Wurstler's Evocative Style Book. Like all the shades in here just scream fall, like summer transitioning into fall for me. You have the green, you have the brown, the little burnt orange or rust down here on the bottom. So I feel like this is very fall appropriate if you want to go this route. Uh, excuse me. You nasty little worm. And of course I have the book everybody and their mom has, the Louis Vuitton book, but I wouldn't keep this cover on it if I was going for a more fall appropriate um, coffee table book situation. I would take it off because it actually has this brown cover up under it. You can still see the Louis Vuitton logo and it's just so yummy, you guys. Screams fall. Those books were a little bit of a splurge. Uh, the Kelly Wurzel book was pretty inexpensive. I think it was like $30. But if you don't want to shell out the coins, what you can do is go to the Dollar Tree at thrift store, get you a hardcover book, and then get some fabric. You can go to a fabric store. You can find some fabric on Etsy, cut up an old t-shirt, and wrap the fabric around the book. And then you don't have to really spend that much money. You can find a book for like a dollar, and you can find fabric for, I mean, fabric is free cheap you don't need like the greatest quality fabric for a book so that's just a little budget friendly tip for you guys if you don't want to go out and buy a $60 book just for fall last tip is going to be go for florals so I love a good dry floral um, a lot of people like pompous grass during the fall seasons but to me it's a mess so I, I have never just brought into the house but bunny tails are actually a good alternative for that um, I got these from Hobby Lobby for $5 stick them in a vase and you're good to go. Like I said, pompous grass is very popular. You can find pompous grass on Etsy, Home Goods. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what pompous grass is by now. You can actually go outside. Well, here in the South, I know it grows here. I see it everywhere and just cut it dry it in the closet if you want so that's a free option for you but me personally i cannot wait for the leaves to start changing color so i can go outside and get me some free branches kelly wurstler posted this picture last year of these beautiful like burgundy wine colored branches in a vase and y'all it was to die for screamed fall but not overly fall if you know what I mean. I also have been eyeing some eucalyptus branches that I saw on Amazon. I saw a Pinterest photo and it was a kitchen and it had these beautiful burgundy eucalyptus leaves right on the counter and it looked so good y'all. And like I said, burgundy is a very fall appropriate color as well. So I think I'm gonna play around with that this year. I know I'm contradicting myself because I said I never do fall. It'll make my home more fall appropriate. So stay tuned. That may be another video. Oh, I can't wait for fall. I cannot wait. Okay, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. Sound off in the comments down below and let me know if you usually decorate for fall because salute y'all the real MVPs because I, I just can't do it. That's a lot of extraness for me in my life. Hopefully this video was helpful and gave you guys some tips and tricks for the upcoming season. Don't forget to like and share. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health. And I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, peace out.